we are Saint Canto chapter eight. I will continue from the verse twenty nine. Vatsana Munchan Kasidamai Krosha Sanjata Asa Stayam Sadhatyata Hipaya Kalpita is Tay Yogai Markan Bhokshan Bivajati Sachinati Bandam Binati Drabya Labe Sugriha Kupito Yatu Prakoshito Khan This is the complaining of the gopis to the mother Yashoda about Sri Krishna. As I already many times said that Brajabhasis are not ordinary. All and all the other act activities of any Brajabhasis also is not that ordinary. You should not consider like this. Brajavasi activity, that's why Mahaprabhu also instructed. And at the time of Sandili Muni, Sandili Muni also instructed that our behavior towards Brajavasi was complete is an awareness. Distance in the means that their activities are totally different in the comparison of any other normal person. We have this materialized by the nature, by the common human nature, we see everything with this materialized until we don't get this is Dibhi Chakshu, Divine Eyes. So we calculate as per our ordinary material eyes to see the activities of the Brajavasis. But the Brajavasis are somehow taking birth in the Braja is Bhagyavan. Fortunate. It's a special Radharani mercy is there on them. And present concern, if you will think they are the totally associate of Srimadhi Radhika. And they are totally under the protection of Srimadhi Radhika. And they are totally in too much deep love with Srimadhi Radhika. Radharani loves them a lot. So, meaning of all this saying that we, when we come in Braja, we need to be very careful about before going to near Brajavasi. I don't and cannot say about the people, those who are coming from different countries. Because once we say them that uh, we should be careful, because Brajavasis are near and dear to Sri Radha Mohan. They are also the same worshipable as we worship Sumati Radha Rani. The people from different countries like Japan or any European or American country, they understand. Because they didn't born in this country, India. But the Indian mind is start looking the comparing with his personal ideas to see, after looking the activities of the Brajavasi. Because uh, since childhood that we have some normal teachings that you should not abuse you should not shout, should talk calmly. Different etiquettes 
comparatively looking to the other countries not this is our our etiquette is there when people because people stop learning or reading or studying sanskrit said they don't know many things that how to live a life because in this sanskrit language there are so many thousand and thousand subhashitani this subhashitani subhashitani meanings subhas so means beautiful sundar bas mean how to speak and tan mean is the different way how to speak sweetly and communicate with people so these days we we indian especially not only the particular people those who want to go to preach shrimad bhagavatam those who want to go preach shrimad bhagavad gita those who want to go preach some ramayan or something something or those who want to become teacher or those who want to go on some government teacher job or in the ministry of the language and the different things they learning that because that they are making this language as per their profession but it is not like that before in the most of the part of the country people were speaking and understanding sanskrit in the mughal and the different invasion it happened like this that uh, at the time of mughal invasion or the time of the mughal kingdom it was putting tilak on the head was banned for hindu people for sanatan people kepin shikha was also banned for sanatan people but how somehow they were able to hide their this sacred thread because it was totally banned at that time so these things happen because the people the forgotten to read to study sanskrit so they don't know how to behave actually it's not like that in the indian culture there is no teachings but we came far from our this basic sanskrit language and after coming keeping distance from this language it is very difficult to understand how to talk properly how to behave properly how to communicate properly as i said that if i say something about brajwasi to the people who are coming from out of this country from india they quickly understand they quickly accept or they say yeah okay it is okay good they must behave with brajwasi in a distance way very politely if we try to if we go to see the actions of the brajwasi it can disturb us and in this sense we can think about such a kind of a particular person about the many things with our mind or with our heart then it will become a aparad then if someone wants that radharani will be happy doesn't matter it's not our duty to calculate or to evaluate of any one brajwasi because if we are not evaluate or can reach on that level what we can calculate other one especially brajwasi so need to be careful because if you are doing sadhana or whatever you are doing after coming braja or whatever you are trying to develop your mood you have to follow the some things very precisely little mistake will bring you down doesn't matter how much bhajan you are doing don't think that i am talking only negative things i am just saying to be careful we need to be careful we need to develop our humbleness we need to we need to develop our sweetness in our mood in our each and every action not from only externally but important internally this is very important so here the gopis are coming with the complaint and saying 
Oh, our dear friend Yashoda, your son sometimes comes to our house before the milking of the cows and releases the calves. These are the sweet Leela of our Thakurji. He is doing definitely this doing. Gopis are going to milking the cows and before that they see that their calves are untied and they already drank all the milk. There is nothing to milk again for the gopis. So this complaint they bring to the mother Yasoda that your son is doing like this, coming to our house. And when the master of the house becomes angry, your son merely smiles. Not only this, he, what he is doing. These are the sweet Leelas of our Krishna, our Mohan. Because when we see that our child, when he is in too much in our love, he tries to teach sometimes us. So the same thing happening over here. When someone says him something, he just literally smiles. Sometimes he devise, devises some process by which he is still sport, palatable curd. Butter and milk. Not only this. He has some special technic, technique to steal butter. Steal God, and he is stealing milk. Which he then eats and drinks. Then he drinks this milk. Then he eats this God completely. But when the monkeys assemble, are sometimes also there. He is not only alone. He is not coming to doing these things alone. He is coming with full of his uh, gang. And in this gang, monkeys are also there. And these monkeys, what he is doing? He divides it with them. He is stealing, not, not only stealing, he is stealing, eating himself. And when the monkeys are there, he is dividing all this curd milk and butter among them. And when the monkeys have their belly so full that they won't take more. And after eating a lot, monkey said, yeah, it's enough. He breaks the pot sometime. Then after consuming all these things, he breaks the pots. Sometimes if he gets no opportunity to steal butter or milk from a house, he will be angry at the householders. Obviously, these are the things of Krishna. What does it mean? <laughs> there is a teaching in this. Nature of butter is soft. Nature of milk is soothing. Nature of milk is with sweetness. Nature of yogurt is nourishing and it's also very smooth. So one one hand he is saying by this all action kitchen Krishna is teaching what? First make yourself like butter. Butter cannot tolerate heat. Heat in the sense that human heart should be melt with the pain of other people. This pain of other people is same like heat that melts the human heart. 
You understanding, Kevla, what I'm saying? Krishna, when he is not uh, getting this chance to steal butter, yogurt, or milk from Bajabasi house, when he cannot steal these things, then he become angry on the householder who is the master of this house. Krishna becomes angry on him. So he is giving this message that I am angry, I can also become angry when when taking after birth as a devotee, if your heart is not melting like butter to looking some people difficulties, someone's difficulties. Milk and yogurt, misnigdha. Milk is sweet. You need to be as sweet as white, white in the sense, clean in your character. Your nature should be very clean. Your nature should be very sweet. Otherwise, I will be angry. Angry means doesn't matter how much you are offering to me. If you not changing your nature, if this sweetness or this mildness or this meltiness doesn't come in your heart. You understanding Kevla? Kevla Bhaktiji, you can understand? I did not understand the English, sorry. So, Krishna Gane, あの、本当に欲しいのは、バターじゃないんだと。そう、そこの、あの、深いところに愛をね、愛をクリシナが欲しがってるっていうのはプラパーダの使いですね。Okay, thank you. So, Krishna becomes ours if our heart is like this. Can you translate, Kishori ji? Yes, I'm in Diksha, but I can try. No problem, as much as much you can. Yeah, yeah, and some point to point I can try. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, but welcome. But the, when he becomes angry, then what he do? He will agitate the small children by pinching them. These people have small kids in their house. When Krishna fails to steal the butter or yogurt, then these small children are there. He pinch these small children like this. And then this is Krishna. When these small children cry, Krishna runs away. Now the purpose of this sloka. The narration of Krishna's naughty childhood activities would be presented to Mother Yashoda in the form of complaints. Gopis are bringing complaints about Krishna to Mother Yashoda. So this is all his childhood activities, sweet activities. Sometime Krishna would enter the house of a neighbor and if he found no one there, he would release the cows before the time for the cows to be milked. 
the calves are actually supposed to be released when their mother are milked but krishna would release them before that time お母さんの牛が子牛にミルクをあげようとする。でもクリシナは子牛にミルクをあげる前に先にミルクを飲んでしまう。Naturally the calves would drink all the milk from their mothers. When the cow herd men saw this they would chase Krishna and try to catch him. saying here is krishna doing mischief but he would flee and enter another house where he would again devise some means to steal butter and curd then the cowherd men would again try to capture him saying here is the butter thief better capture him and they would be angry but krishna would simply smile and they would forget everything sometime in their presence he would begin eating the curd and butter there was no need for krishna to eat butter since his belly was always full but he would try to eat it or else he could break the pots and distribute the contents to the monkeys in this way krishna was always engaged in mischief making if in any house he could not find any butter or curd to steal he would go into a room and agitate the small children sleeping there by pinching them and when they cried he would go away अस्त्राग्राहे रचयति टेक्स्ट 30 अस्त्राग्राहे रचयति विधिम पीठ कोलूर वलाद्यै क्षित्रम अंतर्निहित वयुनः शिक्क भांडे सुतद्वित वांतागारे धृतमणिगणम सांगमर्थ प्रदीपम काले गोप्यो यैर्हि कृत्येषु तु व्यग्रिचिता काले गोप्यो यहिम when the milk and curd are kept on a high on a swing hanging from the ceiling and krishna and balrama cannot reach it they arrange to reach it by piling up various planks and turning upside down the mortar for grinding spices being quite aware of the contents of a pot they pick holes in it while the elderly gopis go about their household affairs krishna and balrama sometimes go into the dark room brightening the place with the valuable jewels and ornaments on their bodies and taking advantage of this light by stealing krishna and balram were wearing a lot of different uh, jewelry ah krishna and balram were ne takusan no hoseki o minitsukete but sometimes gopis were hanging the yogurt and milk で、
So it was difficult for them to reach over there. だからそこにね、手を伸ばしてね、あの、届けることはね、なかなか難しい。But, in old time, the people were keeping this one day,、uh, wooden, wooden grinding spices pot. Big. It was big. なね。そう、スパイスをすりつぶすポットをぶら下げたりする。Uh, where the mothers were grinding the spices. But Krishna turning it, Downside and climbing.、ね、<laughs> he was becoming a little higher than he was stealing. But it was difficult to take completely. Then he was from down, he was making holes into the pot. だからポットから穴を開けて出そうとする。こうやって穴を開けようとする。And at that time, the gopis were not there. で、ゴピはその時になくて。Outside for work. 仕事に行ってて、誰もいない時にクリスさんがそれをやっちゃう。And sometimes the yogurt and butter was in a big dark room. But they were going. で、いつの間にかクリスナがあんな開けちゃうか、部屋がね、ヨーグルトとかスパイスで汚れちゃう。In dark room. And where is stealing butter and yogurt? In the light of the, their jewelry, what they were wearing. で、その時に彼らにつけてる宝石がね、光、照明となってくれる。Formerly in every household, yogurt and butter were kept for use in emergency. Before, this is p u r p o t I'm reading, before it was happening like this. So they were hanging the butter and everything. Why did you put it in the pot? It was a very good thing. But Krishna and Balrama would pile up planks. So that they could reach the pots and would then pick holes in the pots with their hands. So that they are not getting it. Would leak out and they could drink it. This was another means for stealing. Butter and milk. When the butter and milk were kept in a dark room, Krishna and Balram would go there and make the place bright with the valuable jewels on their bodies. On the whole, Krishna and Balram engaged. In stealing butter and milk from the neighborhood houses in many ways. So, here we have to understand the things what is saying. Krishna is able. To steal these t y p e of words with soft and sweetness, really, internally. And all this l i l a is, is doing to show us that why only yogurt and butter. Yogurt, yogurt also is t a particular nature. I just said that butter also is a particular nature. It cannot tolerate little heat. So the pain of someone is a type of heat for the heart of the devotee. 
and the devotee heart is like should be like butter it should melt quickly で、献身者のハートがね、ここではバターにね、例えられている。だから、クリシナバターを盗むし、バターのように溶けるという例えでもある。So, how he is eager to eat butter and milk, you can see over there. Is that クリシナがね、どうやってバターを食べたいかっていう話がこれからされます。This mortar for grinding spices, this is turning because he likes this. So make your heart like butter. Vaishnava Janto Tene Kaye, one great devotee poet writing. Who? From one from Gujarat, Narsi Mehta. He's saying, Vaishnav Janto Tene Kaye, to whom we should say, He has the Vaishnava's quality. Vaishnav Janato Tene Kaye Je Pira Parai Jane Re. Vaishnava Janato Tene Kahieje Hira Parai Jane Re Paradukhe Upakare Kare Toye Paradukhe Upakare Kare Toye मन अभिमान नाने रे वैष्णव जन तो तेने कहिए जे पीर पराई जाने रे वैष्णव जन तो तेने कहिए जे पीर पराई जाने A person is eligible to call Vaishnava who understand the pain of another devotee, another Vaishnava. He is eligible to call Vaishnava. Means he, his heart should be so soft so sweet that Krishna can steal. So this type of Vaishnava. Heart Krishna steals. Krishna is stealing not only butter. Yes, he was it stealing butter because this was the part of the Leela. But Tattva Vichar is saying that he is stealing heart definitely because he is attractive, so attractive. But when Krishna Ganasumano Abatavakedevanai, so you tell me about the Vice and Abanashtuno, Hat on a Sumo. When the heart and whole character will become like butter and yogurt. And the second thing is coming, the darkness. Is totally disappeared when Krishna is entering in a dark room. It is here saying that on his body, Krishna Balrama body has a lot of jewels. Of course, they have so many jewelries. They are Supreme Personality. They have so many jewelries, jewelries that can turn the dark darkness in the lightness of anyone's life. But the meaning that we have to become his, 
own. These were the houses of gopis. So personally, he was entering in the houses. Personally, he entered in the houses of the gopis. We also want that Krishna should enter in our house, in our heart. Why? When? Because just upper on upper layer saying, ah, we love Radharani, we love Krishna, we love Radha, Krishna. We love. But our achran, but our behavior is also like that. We have to check ourselves. Really loving. Completely change many things in the life. Honesty should be there. It means that when your heart will become soft and sweet, you cannot hide it. Darkness means doesn't matter if you have knowledge or knowledge, not knowledge. You don't have knowledge. From this side, someone is dark. He don't have any knowledge. Then why Krishna is entering in dark room, even in dark room? Krishna is saying, no matter how much knowledge you have, I have so many jewelries that shines a lot. If you are keeping butter and yogurt, I will definitely steal. Doesn't matter there is light or not. So not only this, he has all many different ideas to steal butter. But, but butter should be there. But we have no yoga, we have no butter. What Krishna will think? One minute, he's saying something in Bhagavad Gita 12th chapter. My job is to know the amount of the amount of so they are for your pet after me you to mama ta ye to akshar man this of your tongue for you positive sarvatra agama chintyam cha kutasta machalam drum sunny game in the a gram on sarvatra some of the uh the problem one team i'm ever sort of good he did at all play so play so dick that a stem of some of the text to change some of it i think it is to come they have a bit of a pity ये तो सर्वानि कर्मानि मई सन्यस्य मत पराहा अन्य न्याय वन योगेन माम धायंता उपासते तेशा माम समुद्धरता मृत्यु संसार सागरात भवामी नचिराथात 
मामा मीन सी रात पार था मैया आवेश चेतसाम मैये बमन आधस्व मई बुद्धि निवेश मैये अत्य ऊर्धव न संशया न संशया अत चित्त समाधा तुम न शक्नोति मई स्थर अभ्यास योगे न तथो मामी छाप तुम धनंजया अभ्यास अप्य समर्थोसी मत कर्म परमो भव मदर्थम अभी कर्मा कुरवन सिद्धि अतः तप्य शक्तो सी कर्तु मध्योग सर्व कर्म फल त्यागम तथा कुरु यथात्मान श्रेय ही ज्ञान अभ्यास अज्ञानाध्याय विशिष्य ध्यानात कर्म फल त्याग त्यागा गच्छातिर अनंतर अद्वेष्टा सर्वभूता मैत्र करुण एव च निर्मो निरंकार सम दुख सुख क्षमी संतुष्ट सततम योगी यथात्मा दृढ़ निश्चय मई अर्पित मनोरबुद्धिर्यो मद भक्त समे प्रिय यस्मान यस्मानो दुजते लोको लोकानो दुजते चय हर्षा मर्ष भयो द्वेग द्वैगर मुक्तो यसा चमे प्रिय अनापेक्ष सुचिर दक्ष उदासीनो गत सर्वारंभ परित्यागी यो मद भक्त समे प्रिय यो न हृष्यति न द्वेष्टति न सोचती न कांक्षति शुभाशुभ परित्यागी भक्ति मान्य समय प्रिया भगवान ही चाहिए भगवान ही चाहिए चाहिए वॉट इज वी नीड ई से एवरीथिंग ई नीड टू से ऑल दिस नो इस आत्मा राम आप काम यू डोट नीड टू से ऑल दिस थिंग But in Bhagavad Gita, saying because he loves devotee, he loves us. Why he need to say all these things? He doesn't need to say these things. But he is saying in this twelfth chapter, the only thing, only meaning of all this saying is just. because he loves us it is okay sometime radharani definitely no doubt is not comfortable like him there is no doubt about it no one can doubt on radharani yeah if someone is doubting on radharani he will be naragami will go to hellish plane but imam krishna na hanasi Yeah, you can dance there. Yeah, thank you. The Gita, no, twelve chapter, no, thirteen, or twenty, 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 or is watching all aspect of a devotee but here in some shrimad bhagavad gita he said very clearly the main thing he is apt kaam atma ram is complete let the things happen in the different planet happening he can also say i no need to think why do i created everything people are enjoying i am free because i created one time and i fix each and every person for the different duties i am free now i no need to do but he was knowing kare wa shijou shi de subete no hito o tsukutta de subete no yakuari o ataeta dakara nani mo suru hitsuyou ga nai n dakedo dakedo sore demo kare wa subete no hito no subete no hato o shitte but he saying he was knowing dwapar will finish kaliyuga will come and when kaliyuga will come people will not people will not have that much and my nature is that i love them 
they can forget me i cannot forget them and this will happen this will happen that many of them will forget me で、ドアパラヨガの時代は頭が良かった。でも、これからカリニュガが起こ,る起こると、みんな知性がなくなる。で、みんなが私のことを忘れてゆくだろう。だけれども、私は決してデボーティーのことを誰一人として忘れない。That's why clear the things very for the welfare of the devotee. アビアシヨゲナ。Our practice is different. This is the main cause of suffering. We are not practicing precisely properly. Tiny, tiny, small, small things in this material world disturbing us. Here, everywhere, Bhagavan Vacha written in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavan Vacha, he said, Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam, he said. So, they are Krishna and then we are. He was knowing the Kalikal will come, people will have less different practice, we will evolve. They will more and more dance under the influence of Maya to fulfill the. Gresta will be busy in all these things. Not impossible, but it will be not easy for each and everyone. Some will do. Some will quickly do by reading this. Some will quickly understand and some will try to understand. Maybe some will, will not take in one life we can understand what I am saying. But yeah. Some will have interest that what is written, why he is saying like this. So many queries, questions are there. So there will be many, many. But if I am not saying, maybe he is thinking like this. I, I think it's my. That if I will not say now, then it will be total empty. What they will think? What they will read? What they will think after reading? What even they will not miss in that? What is the meaning? What is Gita? My words which pass by generation after generation to, to the people. We are fortunate Indians. I am talking about all devotees. We all devotees are fortunate that, that in different invasion in this country, The many scriptures have been burnt and destroyed by the different time by the different people. Nalanda University, biggest university on the planet, Nalanda University is set to burn and it was, it has been burning till six months. The library of Nalanda University. Only the library of Nalanda University was is, remain burning, remain has been burning till six months. But thanks to our well wisher who were able to protect this, these Granthas. Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, etc., etc., many other scriptures. Later on, our Acharya came and they also wrote many things in Sanskrit.
so we are fortunate enough i think text 31 evam dastalyanu pushyati hi purite mehanadini vastav astayo paye vinanchit krita supriti ko yathaste ittam istri bhi sabhayanen srimukhal lokini bhi vyar khyatartha prahis prahisit mukhi na yupal labdhu mechata when krishna is caught in his naughty activities the master of the house will say to him oh you are a thief and artificially express anger to krishna krishna will then reply here the anger of the devotee is artificial got it artificial anger rajbasi is same do like this they are angry on krishna they talk sometime with diti in anger but it's the anger is artificial inside the ocean of love outside the one drop of artificial anger when become, becoming angry saying to krishna that you are a thief then krishna replying i am not a thief you are a thief sometimes being angry krishna passes urine and stool in a neat clean place in our houses he was doing like this but now our dear friend yashoda this expert thief is sitting before you like a very good boy sometimes all the gopis would look at krishna sitting there his eyes fearful so that his mother would not chastise him and when they saw krishna's beautiful face in his stealing of chastising him they would simply look upon his face and enjoy transcendental bliss mother yashoda would mildly smile at all this fun and she would not want to chastise are blessed transcendental child when someone is catching him saying the householder is saying to him that you are a thief then krishna is saying i am not thief you are a thief and sometime krishna being angry krishna passes union and stool in a neat and clean place in our house there is a message 100% krishna is saying is true in this creation everything belongs to him what is ours what is ours did we make a piece of grain do we have a capabit capacity to make another water do we have capacity the one thing is growing in one place and another thing is not growing in another place the color of something is here something is different 
but it's not changing. It's all he created, and we are consuming. We are thief. When? Till we are thief. Until these all consumable things, we are only keeping for our sense enjoyment. That's why in the Vaishnava theory there is a very beautiful etiquette. Whatever you have for offer to him, actually, what offering to him? The something is belongs to him. It's from him we are offering to him. Offering means that we are we did some material effort and we achieved this. This is the only pos a simple way we achieved this thing. But we know that we are the not the even master of our our breath coming and going. How can we? Master of outside things. So that's why this offering is there. Whatever we bring, whatever is there, first we offer, then we use. This is only in Vaishnav Siddhanta, not any other place. Of the Krishna. For Krishna, this belongs to Krishna. And passing in a clean place, urine in his stool, which means what? And you thinking that you are clean enough? No. They are not yet clean. You need to be more and more clean. So now we start again the cleaning process. Because you think that you clean, but I again see. There's still a lot of dirt is there. Still lot of problem is there. Don't try to make something clean artificially. Artificial cleaning I don't like. I like natural cleaning. No showbiz. Don't make try to be a program, big program. This I don't like. Artificial, I don't like. I like natural. Krishna's business in the neighborhood was not only to steal. But sometimes to pass a stool and urine in a neat, clean house, when caught by the master of the house, Krishna would chastise him, saying, You are a thief. Aside from being a thief in his childhood affairs, Krishna acted as an expert thief when he was young by attracting young girls and enjoying them in the Rasa dance. This is Krishna's business. He is also violent. As the killer, killer of many demons. Although the mundane people like non violence and other such brilliant quality. God, the absolute truth, being always the same, is good in any activities. Even so called immoral activities. A 
that is stealing, killing and violence. God, the absolute truth being always the same. is good in any activities, even so-called immortal, immoral activities like stealing, killing and violence. No boundary for him. Krishna is always pure and he is always the supreme absolute truth. Krishna may do anything supposedly abominable in material life. Yet still he is attractive. Therefore his name is Krishna, meaning all attractive. This is the platform on which transcendental loving affairs and service are exchanged. Because of the features of the Krishna's face, the mothers were so attracted that they could not chastise him. Instead of chastising him, they smiled and enjoyed hearing of Krishna's activities. Thus the gopis remained satisfied. And Krishna enjoyed their happiness. Therefore, another name of Krishna is Gopi Janavallava because he invented such activities to please the gopis. Krishna's all activities to just please the devotee. Devotee's mood should go more and more inside. They should not think anything except me. This gets Krishna wants. That's why so many different activities, naughty activities he is performing in his childhood Leela. Though he is free from all kind of moral or immoral activities, he is always remains pure. Because he is Krishna, he is attracting to devotees where Our transcendental loving appearance service are exchanged. We are attracted. We are connected. We are related. We are united with Krishna. He is attracting us. And with our service and love, with lovingly mood, of our service, we are pleasing him. This is the main source of Vaishnavism. Exchange love, be connected. Jai Jai Sri Radha